Hello and welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Today I'm going to talk about roundabouts. It's going to be more of a basic tutorial today. I'm going to first talk about the real basics and then show you how to use the roundabouts more efficiently to maximize their capacity and create a smooth traffic flow. And let's start with the real basics. I need to know how big the roundabout is going to be. With roundabouts, you could say that the bigger they get, the more capacity they have. So you also need to roughly estimate how much traffic you need to deal with. In my opinion, it's always better looking to have a traffic solution that exactly fits the traffic situation. Building something that is a complete overkill, I don't know, like a huge stack interchange for some rural area, is just not going to look good at all. So let's assume that you want to deal with some relatively light traffic. The kind of traffic volume that would be just slightly above some comfortable levels for an ordinary intersection. Or maybe you just like roundabouts and would like to build it instead of an ordinary intersection. In that case, a simple one-lane roundabout with maybe a minimum of a two unit radius is going to look good. I'm going to build it like this, using the curved road tool and just the ordinary normal two-lane road. I cannot use the highways because I need to snap to the road length and that's only possible with roads that can be zoned to. So let's go, like I said, uh, two units. So we're gonna go two units like that and 90 degrees on all the angles, like this. Now I'm going to build all the other connections. Let's just assume that this is going to be a four way intersection, like that. Now in vanilla game, you only have one option here and that is to use the one lane highway ramp. Now, unfortunately, I built the roundabout too small, and if I was not using the fine road NR key, I would not be able to upgrade these roads. Uh, if I build the roundabout with a radius of 3 units, then I could do it. But 2 unit roundabout is only possible with fine road NR key, like this. Now, if you are using some other mods with, uh, for example, the network extensions too, you might uh, use some different roads, or you might just download some other roads from the workshop as well since the addition of the road editor. Now I'm going to, for example, use the one lane one way because it has the concrete sidewalk and it obviously fits much better with uh, the normal ordinary street or just some different roads like that. With these small radius roundabouts, in my experience, using just one lane is actually better than two lanes because, well, it obviously looks much better, but also because cars tend to do some chaotic lane merging. You could obviously deal with that by manually painting lane connections using the traffic manager mod. We are going to talk about that later, by the way. But with low capacity, low traffic volume roundabouts like this one, why bother? Just use one lane. Now the opposite extreme with regards to the roundabouts radius might be something like this. I said that the bigger they get, the more capacity they have, sure, but in my experience, the increase in capacity kind of stops being significant after a certain normal looking radius that I'm going to talk about later. So bigger roundabouts are just taking too much space without being all that efficient. We need to understand that a roundabout is still a one level intersection where cars do need to give way no matter the size of the roundabout. So if you have huge volumes of traffic, just increasing the size of the roundabout is going to be super inefficient actually and some interchange would do much better in that case. So the bottom line of this is that really small roundabouts are quite useful, very nice looking and efficient as well, but huge roundabouts are kind of the opposite, ugly, not so efficient relative to their size and generally not that useful. So let's talk about a roundabout size that sits somewhere in between. The kind of roundabout with which you can, again in my opinion, achieve maximum efficiency relative to its size obviously, and increase that efficiency even further with some tweaks. I like to use a 6 unit radius for a mid-sized roundabout, so let's build it like we built the small one. This time I'm already building it with the 2 lane 1 way road, because a roundabout of this size probably wouldn't look good with uh, just 1 lane. It probably wouldn't even work that good. So let's build it like we did last time. There we go. Now I didn't build all the entrance or exit roads to it. Again, you might build them to the nodes and build them uh, like we did last time. So for example, in this configuration where you have exactly like 90 degrees between the roads. 
But in my opinion, that's not exactly all that realistic. Sometimes you don't have that in cities if you don't have like 90 degree grids. So maybe you're gonna have the roads coming to the roundabout at different angles and just to different positions and not exactly to the nodes. You can obviously display the nodes by clicking road guidelines and these blue circles are obviously going to tell you that uh, we have nodes exactly in here. Now, if I would like to, let me just destroy this one, for example, this connection. If I wanted to pick a connection and connect it like this, maybe, then I, could, I as you can see, it kind of distorted the shape. So let me just quickly rebuild the shape of the roundabout. Again, using just the two lane uh, one way road with uh, six units like this. Now I'm going to take uh, the normal two lane road again and I'm going to do a little trick. I'm going to fix the position of the nodes. So I'm going to click road guidelines again to see where I do have the nodes. I obviously rem remember that already, so I'm turning it off. And I'm just going to build like a cross like this. Now I can easily just destroy all these connections and I can build my connection, connecting roads to the roundabout as I want. And the roundabout is not going to be distorted. So let's just assume that I'm going to have like a random uh, four connections to the roundabout. They are intentionally not exactly precise because this is how you would, you would have it probably like this in real life. Also, we don't need 90 degrees. Let's just build this one at, for example, 60. So now we have a simple roundabout, but because I'm still going to do some uh, changes to it, I'm going to keep the, the kind of a, the framework inside of it, the cross in here, so that the shape still remains uh, circular like that. Now, if I have a two lane roundabout, it means that in order to completely exploit or just use all of its capacity, I'm going to need at least uh, two lane roads or sorry, four lane roads on the entrances. So I might pick, for example, the, the broad avenue road, for example, the four lane road. Uh, let's use, yeah, let's use it with the median, for example, and just uh, change these roads like that. Now that is already kind of a good roundabout and you might leave it like this, obviously without the framework inside and it would be fine. It would be all right. It would be kind of a medium, low to medium capacity roundabout. So what are some tweaks that we can do here to make it uh, have more capacity? Well, for one, we created uh, kind of a problem in here. Now I have a mod called move it and with move it, I can easily see uh, these uh, dashed lines that kind of represent the connections that the road has with a node. Now, if I click uh, these two, then I can see that at this point we created a 90 degree connection. Even though like visually it doesn't exactly look like 90 degree connection, especially with like the turning lane, it, it's not exactly like 90 degrees, but cars will think that it is 90 degrees. What does that mean? It means that if I'm going to be going on the roundabout and I want to turn right in here, then the cars will slow down and they will slow down quite significantly, just as they will slow down when going to the roundabout. So we obviously don't want that because it lowers capacity. So how can we change it? Well, I'm going to destroy this part of uh, the entrance road. I'm going to move it closer kind of and I'm going to take for example I'm going to take for example again the two lane one way road I'm gonna take uh, the straight road also this part is probably only possible to do with the uh, fine road anarchy mod and move it and I'm going to create this also probably fine road tools are very nice to have as well so I'm going to create two roads like this. And this is probably quite obvious already what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to kind of smoothen out the entrance and the exit from and to the roundabout, obviously. So this kind of doesn't look good. So we might, uh, again, use move it and uh, make it nicer. I'm going to bring this node closer and it already looks much better. And this is actually how I could, uh, how, how I could leave it.
All right, so I did those connections, those entrances and exits on all four sides like this, on all four roads. Now, obviously, you might have noticed that it was a quite fiddly, especially with this connection, which is not symmetrical. It was connected at like, what, 60 degrees or something? And it was not exactly all that easy. Uh, you definitely need to have some uh, levels of patience when using Move It and when trying to create roads that are looking nice. As you can see, the biggest issue, for example, is when you have like a narrow road and connecting it to a broad road, then it always creates like these little bumps, right? And you want to smoothen that out, maybe like this, so it kind of creates like a straight, uh, straight line with the sidewalk. So that's just aesthetical thing that you need to keep in mind. Anyway, the roundabout looks much more realistic thanks to these like entrance curves or just the connecting connecting curves. It looks much, much better. This is obviously how roundabouts look like in real life. But it still lacks something. And we need to now tell the roundabout how exactly it's going to work. So we are going to use the traffic manager president edition and the lane connector functionality of that mod. Obviously, you need to use this mod. It's kind of impossible to do this in vanilla game. And what we are going to do here is going to increase the efficiency because it's going to not allow traffic to do some weird lane merging and slow down the traffic behind it. Now, I already know, before we do the lane connections, I already know that uh, these little segments uh, between the exit and the entrance to the roundabout from all of these main roads, this little segment only needs to be one lane. So before I do the lane connections, let me just quickly upgrade these roads. I'm going to use the one lane, one way with parking, just because it's slightly wider and in my opinion looks a bit better. Obviously the parking is going to be banned on that road, on all the roads. Now it kind of distorted the circular shape of the roundabout, so obviously need to move it and make it better. This is kind of looking all right. Again, you are using move it, which means that you kind of need to play with it. Sometimes it's going to look good, sometimes it won't, and sometimes there's just nothing you can do. But this time it's looking all right. Uh, in my game where I, in my live stream, I kind of created a very, very similar roundabout that I'm probably going to show you in this video as well at the end of it. And I needed to have two segments actually in here divided in between, but this kind of looks all right. And it's looking much better. It created bigger like islands in here, but that, that's all right. That's all right. And this is exactly what we need. Just one lane. Now that I see it, I forgot to reverse these directions. No, that was just the only one. All right. So now for the lane connections. So let's start with uh, these nodes in here. Now, in here it's going to be quite straightforward. All we need to do in here is just ban U-turns, which means we are just going to connect the lanes straight, like that. Very simple. Now, I'm going to continue in here. So the traffic going into the roundabout is just going to go like this. And obviously this line, this, uh, what is this, dark green, needs to merge with the traffic already on the roundabout, which is the orange, dark orange color, or red, I don't know. Anyway, let me just quickly build uh, these two other nodes, and then I'm going to explain how is it going to work. Why am I doing it like that? So, if you want to go and turn, basically just turn right. If this was a normal intersection, and if you want to turn right, you would go on this light green uh, lane, like this, then on this pink one, and on the light green again. As you can see, nothing is going into your lane. So we are just going to turn right, completely undisturbed. You don't need to give way to any kind of traffic. You're just going to go full speed and turn right. Simple. Now, if you want to go on the, on the dark green lane, which is basically going straight through the roundabout or turning uh, left, then you obviously need to merge with, uh, with the traffic already on the roundabout, because like we said, Roundabout is the kind of interchange on one level, so some traffic needs to give way. There's just no other way. So we are merging traffic at this node with the dark green and the orange. Now, the orange line is the traffic originating from either 
one of these two ways. So either from this one or this one. So we are going to merge that traffic and then continue with it on this uh, purple line. Now, the orange traffic may or may not turn uh, from the roundabout in here. And again, it's going to do it. Uh, it's going to turn completely undisturbed by any other traffic. And it's obviously going to continue like that on the roundabout as well. So the only point where traffic merges is this little point in here, which is very important and is definitely going to add quite a lot of efficiency. So let me just quickly do this, do these lane connections for other nodes. Yeah, and that's it. All the connections are done and this roundabout is ready to go. Now, what we have here, again, in my humble opinion, is like the most that we can get out of a simple roundabout. If we need to deal with uh, higher volumes of traffic, we need an interchange. There's, there's just no other way. It's simple as that. This is probably how the roundabout is going to work. And if we want more out of it, it's just going to fail because that's just what it is. It's just a roundabout. So yeah, this is pretty much it. Now we can obviously make it look nicer. Now, for example, what is kind of weird in here are these uh, crosswalks. Now, uh, there is a very nice little mod which is called the ploppable asphalt. I can take, for example, the ploppable asphalt, uh, the sunken variant. Oh yeah, this is one. And I can just cover the crosswalks like this. You can you can even like cover the intersection. So it's kind of the same color, you know, stuff like that. This is obviously going to look much better. You don't need to cover all the crosswalks, but only the ones that are kind of looking like silly, which is basically the, the ones that are in the middle of the roundabout. So maybe something like this. Then obviously, if you like would really want to, you might take some of the road markings. Uh, I'm not exactly all that familiar with them, how they even work, but it's basically like road lines and you might uh, do some, uh, you know, lines like that. Obviously, you would make it a lot better to just, uh, you know, draw the, the actual uh, directions. So you might play with this a lot and create a very, very nice looking roundabout. Now, one more thing with the traffic manager. Uh, these little roads from the network extension, I believe they have, yes, uh, 30 kilometers an hour speed limit. Now, uh, at least in, in my country, we usually have like 50 kilometers an hour on all the roads. So you might want to at least like synchronize the, the speeds on the roundabout like this. I'm just going to put it to, to 50 kilometers an hour on the entire thing, just like that. Now, a few more notes about this. You might obviously build the roundabout slightly bigger. Like I already told you, building the roundabout like really big is not exactly going to increase the efficiency or capacity that much. And it's just going to look bad because obviously inside the roundabout, you can't really build anything. So it's just a dead area that you kind of lost uh, while building the intersection. So yeah, uh, I probably wouldn't go higher than uh, maybe 10 units of radius. In this case, I built a roundabout with a six unit radius and it looks fine. Now, I already in here uh, increased the number of lanes on the roundabouts. Uh, you can do that, definitely. Obviously, increasing the lanes is not going to give you more and more capacity, like in a linear way, because you still need to have traffic merging. You still need to have traffic crossing different uh, directions. So. In here, I used uh, just uh, the network extension road with the, the three lanes, the three lane one way on uh, these roads and obviously just a regular two lane road in between the exit and the entrance point for each individual main avenue. But again, if I was to do uh, the lane connections, it wouldn't change much. We would only have one more lane uh, on, the, on the way going straight through the roundabout or turning left. It wouldn't increase the capacity that much. We would obviously, like I already mentioned, 
we wouldn't get rid of traffic crossing into those lanes. So what we had there before, just the two lane roundabout, was probably enough. And this is not going to increase the efficiency that much. It will probably increase it by some amount, but not that much. Alright then, so that was all for today's video. In here I'm just going to show you the roundabout that I already built in my city. This is the unfinished area still, but the roundabout is working nice. Anyway, that was all for today's video. We built a very nice little roundabout, which is going to work very efficiently, and you might easily build one in your city. Like I said, it's definitely not the ideal solution for all kinds of traffic. For high amounts of traffic, you need an interchange. Simple as that. Anyway, hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, goodbye.